when you do image compression okay let me give you an example of image compression so we have this image and let's say uh, we have one written on that okay we have one written on that okay in this image you might see that all of these space okay apart from this red color all of these space are white spaces and having a uh, some value over there is just uh, increasing up my load on my model so what i can do is i can drop out all the white pixels and moreover if you see all of these are correlated by each other a red point over here let's say let me change the color a red point over here will be highly uh, affected by the values nearby so what we can do is we can just have the mean of this value which eventually loses a bit of information but it uh, gets my model really simple and uh, it gets the loading time decreases the loading time a bit so reducing the number of variables for a of a data set naturally comes to the expense of accuracy but the trick to dimension reduction is that uh, with a, a little trade of accuracy for simplicity because smaller data sets are easier to explore and visualize and make our analyzing part the ETA, EDA part, analyzing data, much easier and faster for machine learning algorithms. Without, uh, we don't have a lot of variables, so we have very few variables. It lets uh, results us to uh, increment of, of maybe data visualization. It makes our data visualization very easy. So to sum up, the idea of PCA is simple: reduce the number of variables of a larger data set while preserving as much information as possible. So let me give you a small overview of what is uh, going under the hood. Okay, let me remove everything. Okay. So let's say we have this data set. Okay. Uh, yeah. We have this data. Let me change out the color. We have this data. And over here, you can see the basic principle about PCA is we first identify the hyperplane that lies uh, the closest to the data and then it projects the data onto it. Okay. Now, uh, hyperplane and all of these stuff might make your things head blow. So let me uh, shorten it out. This straight line what we have. Okay, this is the axis. Okay, and every what we are doing is we are projecting these are the data points okay we are having this axis this black point is my axis we can have different axes okay just to know just to simplify pca there are only two steps okay there are only two steps find pc or the hyperplane hyperplanes and second is projects and second is projections so first of all we will be find, finding an axis okay that is the hyperplane that is nearest to my data points okay so like see it seems very reasonable to select the axis that preserves the maximum variance okay the maximum amount of variance as as for the fact it will uh, more likely lose less information than other uh, projections right so you see each time it is rotating the projections are uh, really different okay the axes are really different so from this we can have different axes okay we can have different axes these axes are nothing but they are known as pc okay if you see this line currently right now okay so we will be having something like this the points over here when it is projected i'm only talking about this line okay this line over here so the axis that we have uh, we have to find the axis which preserves the maximum amount of variance that is which loses the least information another way to justify this sentence will be uh, the axis that minimizes the mean square distance between the original data set and its projection into the axis okay so we will be getting a lot of axis and uh, a lot of axis points and from those axes we have to find the principal components the axis which gives uh, loses the least information so see we can have as many axes as possible that is we can have pc1 to n but there's a trade off okay the pc1 will be having the most information and as we uh, go 
to the end part okay pc1 will be having more significance okay pc1 will be having more significance than pc2 similarly pc3 and similarly it will be till pcn okay so pc1 stands having uh, the most information it stands the most significance and as you move upper uh, uh, to the others principal components your information loses okay right now you can see when this one at this point when our line was something like this okay it was having so le less information but as you see when we are somewhere over here let's say this is pc uh, 2 something and over here if you see if i mark this okay let me remove everything and change out the colors to make more sense let me use the green color okay this line over here this straight line if i just get out the this straight line will be having pc1 and if you just check out this straight line it will be having uh, it will be losing out the least information that is it is it will preserve the maximum amount of variance in data so we will be having data points all over around this data points all around this it's like preserving most of the information probably something like this okay and if you uh, plot out some other way like see if we do it in some other plane let's say this okay in this point three okay if uh, let's say this is pc2 okay uh, probably it won't be pc2 okay but i'm just giving an example let's say this is pcn pcn will be having all the information PCN will be having all the information, very less information. It will be losing most of the information. So all the data is something like this. So you can compare each of them. So that's how the underlying principle goes on. First, we find the hyperplanes and then we do the projection part. We project it out. We are going to talk about the steps in our next video. But before uh, just finishing out the video, I would like you to show you a website which will help you out uh to have a 3d visualization perspective so let me go to